Some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. What would an army veteran like yourself want to say about JNK that the audiences don't know right now? And these are international audiences. And I feel international audiences have a very skewed perspective on the Kashmir situation. Mm -hmm. But even when it comes to Indian audiences, most of the perspectives are built because of traditional news media, which may not be reporting the truth on ground. You've served there, sir. I feel if there's anyone who should have an opinion, it's the folks who serve there. So where would you even like to begin this conversation? Uh, Ranveer, I'll tell you, you know, first thing you know, to the audience, I would say you know, it is very easy to have an opinion. Okay? But opinion changes and it changes really damn fast you know, when you're on ground. So one thing people should be very clear about is there is a hell lot of difference between the real life and the real life. Don't go by what media shows you, what a documentary or the movie shows you. Just go as a tourist, spend some days and I get to know the location. I'll suggest very good exotic locations to them. You should go there and spend some time and never go alone. Go with your family. Then also the opinion changes. You know, when you're going alone, things are different. When you go with your family, that sense of security it changes. So don't go with the real life. Go into the real life. Even as a tourist, you go and I'm telling you, you'll get a hang of it. Imagine in your own country, you're going to place, and, uh, but you see every 10 step, there is a guy who's standing there to protect you, you know, so that you can have a selfie, you can have a comfortable stay there. So everything seems to be tiki tiki boo. But the moment and I take out those guys from there, how many guys are there who are going to volunteer? Ki, okay, I want to go to, you know, Shirinagar. No, you will not even cross the tunnel. That is the difference. And the people who are staying, and I always say, okay, if you want to bring the difference, now, it is not, no man can play and act alone. You know, everyone, you require a team. And when I say team, when we call it a country, it is not only the boots on the ground, but the man with the gun. It is the common man. It matters a lot. You know, they are one of the most important stakeholders. Now, things have changed. Those, you know, important sections have been revoked. It has made a lot of difference in the environment. And slowly and slowly, things will change for betterment. You think it's getting cleaned up? Yeah. As a military person, I am damn sure about it. The moment, you know, it has been revoked, it had made our task a hell lot of easier. I've seen a time where actually I'm telling you, this is a fact. I, I don't know how many people are aware of it. I landed up at the Shirnagar and I saw Indian Army and dogs are not allowed. Is that statement acceptable to you? Imagine being in Army and being in uniform and you read something like this written on the wall. What state of mind? And I, I was furious. I thought, I don't know what to do. But what you can do? You don't even know who has written it. And you find it places. There have been instances when I get a call, ki, sir, I'm moving a dead body of a martyr. And the people have blocked the route. Flight is after one hour. What do I do? I don't know what to do. What your commanding officer is telling you. I can only tell you, had I been in your place, may you know, I would have gone to any extent to ensure that this body reaches home at the time. Things happen thereafter, of course. But this is the environment I've seen, you know. Indian Army and dogs are not allowed. Mm -hmm. I've seen Pakistani flag. Okay, Pakistani board, okay, and you dare not matlab, go to places like Lal Chowk. Today you see, and I, there is a Taranga at Lal Chowk. The perception changes. Those kind of stupid boards are not there. And all those agencies, you know, which were actually creating a lot of havoc, they have been uh, nailed in the butt. And environment is getting clean. It takes time, of course, to clean anything. Swastha Abhyan, you start from one end, you clean and you start from your home. So I'm sure the start has been good and it is going to and uh, go a long way. It might take some time, but what I know, and uh, definitely there is a difference and uh, things are going to improve in days to come. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.